first. Grab my hoop, bring it to the edge of the table. I grab these clamps that I just got at my local hardware store and clamp the hoop. Sorry, let me center this. Clamp the hoop to the table so that this now becomes stable so that now both of your hands are freed up to embroider. First color we're gonna grab is this light yellow, it's 745. We're gonna pull, I do wingspan length of thread, snip. I'm gonna do one strand of thread on this entire piece. So what you do is pull one strand apart, pinch, and then pull and it pulls just the one strand out of the six. Thread your needle. So before you start, I would decide where you want each color to go before you actually start embroidering. And then I prefer to do it that way where I'm embroidering one color at a time rather than doing each piece in a different color. I feel like it's more time efficient, but it's up to you. This whole piece is gonna be a satin stitch. And since this piece is color blocked, you're not gonna to have to worry about blending any of the colors together. You'll just be able to follow the guide, kind of like color by number. When I say color by number, you don't have to follow these colors. I like that you can fill it in with any colors because you can make it your own. I got asked on my last video what kind of fabric this is. It's just a really lightweight, 100% cotton fabric. It's easy to see through, so transferring is a lot easier when the fabric is lightweight. So I think I'm gonna do both scorpions the same. Uh, so I can bring this color to this side, but you are welcome to do whatever you want. This next color is gonna be orange. It's like an or burnt orange and the number is four, three, six. The next thread color we're gonna use is 729. It's this like golden yellow. If you feel like at any point your fabric is getting too loose, you can just pull on these and just make sure that these hoops stay together and it'll make your fabric tighter. Next, we're gonna be using this red color. It's 407, more like a blush.
next color we're gonna use is this brown. Uh, the number is 3032. Okay, last color that we're gonna be using is this really bright white. It's called Blanc. So here's the finished piece. Left this fabric kind of pinched right here so I could show you how I tie this fabric back. So first you're gonna cut a circle with like about a half an inch of fabric around. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. And then you can take some thread, maybe a color that you probably won't use again. Take a bit of it out. I got a bigger needle so you could see. So first what you're going to do is tie off this thread. And then you're gonna pull this as tight as you can first, make this as tight as possible. And then you're gonna take your needle and you're gonna push through the very top of the hoop. And then what you're gonna do is a running stitch around the edge of the whole hoop. So you're gonna go up the top, down the bottom, up through the fabric, below the fabric. Let me zoom in so you can see. Through, up, down. Okay, and then when you get to the end, you can pull this and all of this is connected. So it pulls this fabric in and tightens the front so that there aren't any more. And all you gotta do is make a loop, hold this loop in your hand, push the needle through, go around, pull it through. You just tie the knot, snip it. What I'm gonna do is cut all these white, cut all this white thread in between so that it's not showing up in the front. You also can tie off all of this thread, make it all neat back here. Uh, I don't because it's just a lot of time that I don't, that doesn't really matter because people just don't look at the back of my work very often. And there you have your cute little scorpions. Thanks for watching this full tutorial will be on my YouTube, which will be in the link in the bio. And this pattern will be available on truefit.co. And let me know in the comments what else you want me to embroider.